Until July this year, Odrek Rabogo was largely known for his business acumen. But Rabogo, who marries President Yoru Museveni's second daughter, Patience, is now throwing his hat into the political ring. He recently picked nomination papers to challenge Bush war hero Major General Matayo Charlie Gonzas and then Vice Chairman for Western Region. He's also eyeing the position of Deputy Chairperson of the party's Entrepreneurs League. On why he's joining politics, Odrek expresses concern that the NRM ideology, which the founders fought for and kept burning, is dying out. He seeks to change that. But the movement now is run by a kind of a class of bureaucrats, people who seem to forget those foundations. Rawog also feels that NRM leaders are not doing enough to give quality education to the youth who constitute the majority of the population. The movement is not leaving any good teaching in universities with young people. That's why you see people who are children of the movement, who have 25 million people born after 86, the majority are in towns and they are unhappy about the movement because there is no teaching. On whether his joining politics does not give more ammunition to critics who say President Museveni is entrenching family rule with his wife as a minister and brother, a presidential advisor, Rabogo disagrees. To deny me that contribution because of who I am and where I come from, it's not just absurd, but it is cowardice. It is to say that I don't apply my skills and abilities on the situation because I come from somewhere. Well, everyone comes from somewhere. And doesn't his relationship with the president, something many see as privileged, create a conflict of interest? My name is Audrey Ruabogo. I have as much access as any Ugandan who wants to access that president for whatever they want. Now, if you call that privilege, I don't know. I have a beautiful wife with four children. Those access me and I access them. If I have to see the president, I have to make an appointment. The former journalist urges more youth to come forward and offer fresh perspectives in leadership. We have a generational challenge. There are lots of young people that I meet, business people, entrepreneurs, who feel they can make a difference. They don't get the guts to do it. He promises to focus on empowering youth to engage in agriculture. And former Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi has fallen out with NRM. Rabogo says he's not surprised. He cites senior NRM leaders who have left since 1995, including Amanya Mshega, John Kazora, Bidandi Sali, and the late Eria Kategaya, who later returned to the fold. I think people come, people go. If we teach the foundational principles, we shouldn't be worried about Amam Mbabazi. He's served. If he wants to go on and run in another way, I'm really not concerned. I am more concerned about the performance of our structures and whether we can continue this ideology. And on whether President Museveni has been in power for too long. If President Museveni does not espouse hope and opportunity for a country, it would be very difficult for the country to support him. In my opinion, we stand on a record in order for us to make a decision. Choosing leaders is not like changing shirts. Shilandwuchere, NTV.